Well, good morning. John for the Econ Car Quest here. Half past 11, and we're out here today, 11th of May, Jackfield Reservoir. Popped up here today, my friend James, for a really quick sort of session. Now, at best, we've got maybe four hours fishing. It's an overcast day, clouds in the sky, a bit windy, rain is in the air, all told, pretty choppy. So, as you can see, by the hat I'm wearing, I'm honoured to say I've joined the Deeper Sonar Heroes team here in North America. Got myself a deeper Pro Plus castable sonar, and we're getting this thing attached to a rod with some braided line on the reel. We'll get it cast out there and see what's in the swim. Fished this spot many times before, you know, quite a lot, and I think I know what the lay of the land is like. Once I look at the sonar out there, who knows, you know, maybe I'll find a surprise, and hopefully, we might even see some fish. So, time to sit back, guzzle some coffee, and see if we can get a carp on the bank in just a few hours fishing. God bless. Well, here's the setup I've got to cast out the deeper sonar. This is a 13 foot NGT, all on a carp rod, three and a half pound test curve, a big pit, excess 9000 spool, reel, and I've got some 50 pound power throw grade on there. I've got it attached to the deeper sonar from the bottom of the sonar, because I'm actually casting it out there from the shore and winding it back in, means it travels through the water flat and doesn't interrupt the signal. So, let's get this cast out, have a plumb around, see if we can find some fish out there. minutes have been cast out. James is carp on! Feel like a good one James? Excellent! Well there we go, James's first fish of the day. This girl, 32 inches, 18 and a half pound, fell to some pineapple feed corn. Well done James, what a Thank beautiful you. capture. Nice work. Nice, nice good bite with this one. Sadly was. Certainly was. Well, there we go, my first carp from Chatfield this year. A wonderful 14 pound, 12 common. It's got his fin up, first the tandoori garlic, and a happy capture this was indeed. Now I've marked some fish about 25, 30 yards off the bank, got the bait out there, about an hour later, this was the result. I'm a happy man. Let me get this fella back, cast back out, and see if we can catch some more. Well, what a great little 14 pound 12 common that was. I'm a very happy man. And my first carp landed on the TG Active Nest Bay. Good stuff. So, this was a little rig we caught that guy on. Not very complicated. We've got a size 6 Trocar Magnum curve sank hook. On the hair, we've got a 15mm Nass Bait TG Active cultured hook bait. On the top, we've got an Airball TG Active pop up that I've cut down to help counterbalance the weight. A little bit of tungsten putty on the line, so the bait sits proudly on the bottom. About a six links hook link, this one's actually pretty sort to a loop with a sleeve to go over the leg clip system. I'm going to get this one, put back on the line, cast back out, and see if we can get one of that carp's friends. Carp quest. Well, quarter past one. James is fish on again! The right screamer. Does it feel like another good one? Excellent. Wow, well, look at that. James's new PB mirror. 17 pound 12. What a beautiful fish. Well done, James. And I've got to run. Well, the coffee goodness of Chatfield just keeps on giving. Now that run, I saw the fish actually jump out about 40, 50 yards off the bank, knew it was a good one, and this is what we got. What an absolute beauty. What a stunner. Chatfield monster. 24 and a half inches, 24 and a half pound. Falls to TG active, <laughs> what a nice fish. What an absolute beautiful fat female. 
good work, James, and Nana. Thanks, man. You're welcome, John. Yeah, right, I'm gonna get this girl back. I think I'm gonna have some victory coffee now. Well deserved. Alright, uh, well there we go now, I only just got my fist back in the water, was got one rod cast back out, I haven't even sat down, James has got another one on the bank. This beautiful girl, 31 and a half inches and 16 pound 4, what a beautiful mirror car, well done James. Very nice. Mirror-tastic for you today, definitely. It is, it is. It is, what a good fist. Oh, what can I say, James is a lucky job, he catches another beautiful mirror, my rod guard's ripping off, and this is what we had on the other end. Not much an identical fist to the last one. A little bit lighter, but look at that. 34 inches, 21 and a half pound chat for common. Fans the TG active again, cultured hook bait with a number six trail car Magnum Club Sank hook. Yes. I'm getting very happy. Not so loud, every coffee yet. Let me get this guy back. Get cars now. Maybe I'll finish my coffee. We haven't get any coffee. God bless. Well, this is getting crazy. I can't even get both rods out, and I can't even get me coffee. Another car interrupted me. This little guy. What a beauty. Real feisty dolphin like battle. 32 inches, 16 pound two. All right, slender torpedo. What a good fist. I'm gonna try and get cast out. I am gonna get that coffee. I'm covered in water and car, but it's a wonderful feeling. Well, I was getting bored with James catching on the mirror car, so I thought I'd catch one myself. Look at this little fella. Feisty, feisty car. Oh, a little beauty, fin up and everything, angry old fist. 32 inches, 14 pounds. What an absolute beauty. Look at that. He is a Beautiful gorgeous stuff. specimen, yes. Again, that's the tandoori garlic, TG active. Pop up from there, all pop up. <laughs> what can I say? It's an amazing session this is turning into. Well, I can't believe it, you know, James has got a run, he's reeling his fist in, my rod goes screaming off again, fist leaps out about 50 yards off the bank and see it's a good one, and what a beauty, you know, I'm very happy. Look at this, new PB mirror for me, six years in the coming, oh, look at that, what an absolute beautiful fist, 35 inches, 23 and a half pound, Chatfield Mirror Carp. I'm a very happy man with the UPB. Again, Fels the Tandoi Garlic. <sighs> what can I say? Now they get this chunk back. Let's have a look at James's fist. He's got another mirror as well. This day's just gone crazy. It's Mirror Carp Madness Day. It is Mirror Carp Madness. Well, there we go. James's beautiful fist, 28 inches. Staying our pound. Another beautiful mirror. Well done, James. Thank you, John. Well, what total madness. And I had to finally not cast the rods back out again just so I can make a quick video segment. What a crazy couple of afternoons. Total madness here. You now, congrats to James. Call this new PB mirror for him. That £17.12er. He's a very happy man. And then me, I didn't think my day could get much better than I hauled out that wonderful 35 inch. 23 and a half pound beautiful apple slice mirror that's my new pb you know the irony bin that stood for 30 years you know my previous best mirror carp came out of a lake in hertfordshire back in about 1983 only 18 pound but hey you know it was worth the wait i'm certainly happy to get that mirror on the bank oh man just need some coffee now no, there's no time to make any Anyway, I think we're going to get cast back out again. Nothing to victory coffee, may have to wait till I actually get home. And I've only got an hour left, but the bike is good. Might as well get the rods back in there and keep on going. Who knows what else we might catch. Considering that the mirror carp to common carp population is normally 10 plus commons to one mirror here at Chatfield, to catch so many in such a short time, 
absolutely amazing. So, time to go back out, keep on fishing. An hour left, let's see what we can get. Conquest. Well, coming towards the end of the session here at Chatfield with James. No, not bad for a four and a bit hours fishing. Another run and caught an absolute beast again. Big belly on this girl. She's definitely a bit feisty still, but what a fish. What oh, an absolute bruiser. Look at that. Oh, what a fish. 25 and a half inches, 28 pound four. What a stunning capture to maybe end the day. What can I say? The tandoori garlic got the job done in a big way. Sonar helped me find the fish, certainly located the spot, and then I hammered it and caught quite a few. Oh, yes. Let's get this big fat girl back. Maybe time for one more cast and then pack up and we'll head on home. Well, carp fans, there we go. Definitely the end of the day now. James is about to take his rods out of the water. Has a quick run on his rod. A good old battle later and hauls in this Chatfield beast. 24 inches long, 22 pound 10. What a beautiful fish. Beautiful. Well done, James. Gorgeous. Thank you, John. Well done. Screaming Th run on that left hand rod. <laughs> Screaming run on that left hand rod. Indeed. So I think it's time for us to take our rods out, pack on up. Hey, we'll have a victory coffee on the way home. What a great session here at Chatfield. So for now, you all have a great evening.